a lot of you folks being prideful about the area you live in, about the Pacific Northwest, that's key. And that's key for our show as well. Uh, coffee being one of them, of course, one of the coolest coffee shops here in the area. Um, when we talk about being prideful for the area we live, we work, we play, we wanted to see what fuels this wonderful city that we live in. If you can get an idea, yes, it is this magic bean. Take a look at the new segment called Pride of the Pacific Northwest. Seattle, you have like this really diverse interaction of nature enthusiasts and an urban environment. And so you have just like this very cozy small town feel built into like this larger city that is ever growing. Here's the thing. We all know the Pacific Northwest has a vibe that's extremely unique. Seattleites work hard, they play hard. They love being outside, I don't know, walking their dog, exercising, enjoying the beauty, whatever it is. But if there's one thing that fuels us, if there's one thing that gets us so excited, it's the magic bee. All right, so what should we start with? Um, we're gonna make some espresso first. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Do we cheers? If you want to, I yeah. I would love totally. to. Cheers. Just enough yeah. energy to make it go, woo! <laughs> when you think of Seattle, you think of rain and coffee. Yeah, what, exactly. What is it that keeps us coming back to this? I think they go hand in hand. I mean, with like the sort of rainy, dreary atmosphere, um, I think people just tend to either want to be inside and still go throughout their day. And there's something energizing about, you know, a lot of sunlight and a lot of like warmth. So I think people are finding that in sort of like the, the caffeine and the product of coffee. Did you know that, ah, did you know that six out of the top 10 US cities for coffee drinkers are right here in Washington? Yeah. Hey. Do you guys know Seattle has more than 600 Starbucks stores? Did you know that Seattle has 10 times more coffee shops per 100,000 residents compared to the entire US? No. Guess how many coffee shops, independent coffee shops there are in Seattle? 2,000? Good guess, 700. Wow. Hot chocolate? It's crazy, it doesn't matter what time of day it is, we'll drink it. Let's go grab some coffee. Yeah, let's go. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. So what? Like, what would you add? I would say three at the most. Okay. But I always before 4 p.m., that's my cutoff. I pretty much have one cup a day. So 9 a.m. is kind of my cutoff. But I'm in grad school right now, so my cutoff kind of changes depending on how exhausted I am and how many papers I have to write. Uh, five. 5 p.m. 5 p.m., yeah. Usually about 7 a.m. Kind of a, a one cup guy. I would say probably mid afternoon, I usually switch to green tea. It's that fuel that makes us who we are. It's the staple of the Dude, Pacific. Hey, we're done. This is a staple. We all get it. We yep. drink coffee here. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Let's go. All right. It's a staple of the Pacific Northwest. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> and we love it so much, don't we? Well, that coffee shop, uh, one of the many beautiful coffee shops in the Pacific Northwest is right here at KEXP La Marzocco. It's just one of the five that we've highlighted as some of the ones we think you should check out. So we put a list of that on our website if you want to go just uh, king5.com. We have a web story there of just some of the unique ones. Or you can text us. Obviously, we've got the number on the screen. If you want to ask me directly, like, what are some other cool spots? I'll shoot that over to you. But uh, yeah, we love our coffee. Love <laughs> a lot of people are texting about that. Oh, yeah, we got a text saying yeah. one of the things I bum out about when I travel is I miss the coffee <laughs> yeah. back in mm -hmm. Seattle. And yeah. what's great about here is they change the menu, if you will. Like, yeah. so every mm -hmm. time we come here, it's like it's something a little different. They're featuring, you know, a different company. And right. I think that's really neat. They have like a whole dossier on where it came from, how it was grown, oh, all yeah. that cool stuff. <laughs> love that, love that.